Kate Middleton is set to star as a one-off guest presenter on CBB's Bedtime Stories show later this week. However, the announcement comes after the royal family reportedly threatened to boycott the BBC over its William and Harry documentary The Princes and the Press. Following the release of the BBC Two documentary, the Duchess of Cambridge, 40, even cancelled a BBC screening of her Christmas Carol concert. Kensington Palace instead opted to air the festive show on ITV. But Omid Scobie, 41, who co-authored Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan and the Making of a Modern Royal Family, took the opportunity to take a dig at Kate Middleton's CBeebies announcement. Writing on Twitter, Mr. Scobie said, So much for that BBC boycott the papers whipped up a frenzy about. Kate has decided to read The Owl Who Was Afraid of the Dark by Jill Tomlinson as she stars in a special episode marking Children's Mental Health Week. Children's Mental Health Week will run from February 7th to February 13th and Kate's episode is set to air on Sunday at 6.50pm. Speaking about Kate's appearance on the show, the BBC's Director of Children's and Education Patrika Hidalgo said, I couldn't be more proud to have the Duchess read a CBeebies bedtime story as we mark the 20th anniversary of our CBeebies and CBBC channels. She added, it's such a special and relevant tale and perfectly represents this year's Children's Mental Health Week theme. I can't wait to see her deliver her own take on such a classic story and I'm sure our audience can't either. The Duchess of Cambridge will join a coveted list of celebrities who have hosted CBeebies Bedtime Stories. British actor Tom Hardy, 44, who crossed the Marvel DC divide to star as both Venom and Bane, hosted the show in March 2021. Singer Rick Astley, 56, who released the hit 1987 single Never Gonna Give You Up, also appeared on the program back in October 2019. The show has been a staple of children's television in Britain for years and has helped many families get their tots ready for bed. However, the announcement still comes after a difficult period for the BBC and the firm. Following the release of The Press and the Princes, the royal family issued a joint statement from Buckingham Palace, Clarence House, and Kensington Palace. It said, a free, responsible and open press is of vital importance to a healthy democracy. However, too often overblown and unfounded claims from unnamed sources are presented as facts and it is disappointing when anyone, including the BBC, gives them credibility. <laughs>